arrived there into Robb Elementary School, you can still hear the shooting in the background. So we know about three minutes after this happened that uh, a number of officers from the Uvalde City Police Department as well as from uh, the school district arrived. About half a dozen officers, at least one with a rifle that we can see protective vests on. Uh, more and more begin to arrive there. They initially pursue the gunman. You could see them go in the hallway there toward the classroom where the gunman was. Uh, they were then, you could hear, met with a blast of gunfire there. We, uh, we assumed that was the gunman firing back at them from inside the classroom. They scattered and then retreat as well, Ashley, through the end of the hallway. And you could see them kind of uh, taking up uh, cover there on that end of the hallway. Yeah, in fact, they're going to scatter here more so than what you see right now. Um, yeah, they actually at this moment have not made their approach. They're just about to do that when there is an exchange of gunfire. So this is again about four minutes now into the uh, more gunfire from inside. You can see the officers scrambling on that. At least three officers now retreat back down the hallway uh, knowing the armed subject is in the classroom. And I think this is the part when families are going to understand that the officers were there uh, inside the building uh, within minutes uh, of the gunman entering the classroom. They will stay in this area for about, Tony, the next 45 minutes. Tony, what are we seeing happening? Well, over that next 45 minutes, we see a number of officers arrive. We see added protective gear arrive. We see high-powered weapons arrive. We see officers donned in all sorts of protective equipment. At one point, you can see it there. They bring in tear gas canisters and put them down. So just a lot of movement among a growing number of law enforcement officials in that hallway. And I want to be clear, we're talking about law enforcement officials from a variety of agencies. They finally go in and at the end, the video we're about to show you, this is the end. Uh, it's over pretty quickly. Take a look at how they, uh, this all finishes inside the school. You can hear the gunfire. Uh, officers move into the classroom. If you can see just down at the end of the hallway there, at the top of your screen, uh, they move into the classroom and they take out the shooter. And Tony, we do know from previous reporting that it's by now uh, there are DPS officers there, state officers there as well uh, at this point in addition to the local police, the local sheriff's department? That's exactly right and ultimately it is the border patrol that takes down the gunmen. They actually lead the assault team inside that classroom. We're told that at that point the gunman was actually in a closet but did emerge when they breached that door and went inside that classroom and that is where the gunman was killed by law enforcement.